All right, so today we're gonna start, uh, I'm gonna bondo up these corners. They did do a great job on it, so I'm gonna come back and clean it up for them. Uh, we're gonna straighten all that metal out. There's corners are a little way eh, nasty. There's a seam right there where the red primer is. I'm gonna clean that up. And then this is all gonna get primed and painted with automotive paint. So we're hoping it's gonna turn out pretty nice. Uh, it, it's, it's a focal wall for the business. It's gonna have uh, everything in the whole business is grays and blacks. So you got flooring is gonna be black, the walls are gray, and this is gonna be the only thing they made. The, the guys actually made this with stencils and paper and stuff like that, and then came back with this here. So uh, they made this whole thing, and that's a really difficult wall to do. And it's got different angles and stuff. Let's look at it up here. Did that type of thing. Tilts back and then the corners are angled. It's really, and then it goes down below here and then up. So that's all been painted on the backside uh, gray, just like the rest of the walls to kind of mute it out. And then this is gonna get painted red. So I'll just do little clips along the way, hopefully and we'll see the progress and then hopefully it'll look good in a video all together. So I'll talk to you guys later and we're gonna get started. All right, so we got that up filler on there. I got my, might as well use these for something, right? For sanding. Not really the best for that, but might as well. All right, so we got this corner that's what that looks like for paint. So that should turn out pretty good. An high end body filler on that. So that's a guide coat, just a thin coat of primer that we're gonna sand off. And you can see wherever there's a low spot, there'll be gray there. This seam right here is already gonna have to sand that one down. So that's what the other one looked like. I don't know if you saw it before. And we got a guy masking down here. That's no flake paper. To make sure it doesn't flake. I'm gonna put automotive clear on there so it's gonna come out really amazing. We'll see. Hopefully it comes out amazing. Pretty hard to do. It's gonna be hard to spray this with all this stuff in the way but it's kind of the way it is. We were gonna use this fix but it's just too far, too much distance. It's about 30 feet so I like 30, 35 feet to the end. All right. That's my buddy Rick, he's one of the best painters on this earth, man. This is the Harbor Freight Polisher Sander. It works the best for sanding this Bondo. So we did the primer, now we're doing the guide coat here. Just When we sand it, we're gonna look for red nose. Anything coming through, dents, if we can. I mean, we're not gonna find everything, it's not gonna be like a complete automotive finish, but it's gotta be pretty nice. It's the only thing this color in the whole place. Everything's gray, so this is gonna be a focal wall. Gray and black, so. Got a lot of stuff primed here, we'll bring it back in. Yeah, we're about right here, double coating it as I go. Put on one coat, go back at another one. Welcome my way down. All right, so it's all set. There I am. There we go. Bright red coming. Check it out in a second. So that's the first coat, guys. Got some swirlies to fill in. Let's hope they all fill in really nice. And then uh, two more coats like that. Get some clear. It's a lot of work. All right guys, there it is. Sorry, I couldn't get much filming in between. We were running out of light here. So, uh, yeah. You can see the little ripply edges and stuff. I mean, that's, this thing was made, they didn't budget that big of money into it, you know. It was just, this was a big part of it was paint. And then this is all gonna come down. I guess we're gonna come Monday or something. And uh, really hard to paint this, guys. On the scaffold, it's 
scaffold here, then jump down the ladder, go up, move a rolling scaffold, and jump into a lift. It's just a pain in the butt. And man, you can really see that red in this video. No runs. Had to walk the orange peel right on the edge. I mean, there's a little bit of orange peel, and of course, I'm spraying with two compressors. I'll show you what I have. All right, so we were using this Makita one and a half, and this old two horse one I had. And you see the lines connecting them together, and that gave me, I would say, maybe 17, 18 pounds of pressure. It's not enough to really do a full clear, but. You know, we still got a pretty good result. Pretty smooth. Came out all right. As far as our work went down, I mean, it's, it's as good as it'll get. I mean, there's a seam right there. You can see a little bit of ripple going on, but that's there's nothing you can do. And you know where they had the seam right there. These are kind of, kind of did this on a little bit of a budget versus, you know, the stuff I usually do is more like it would have been really expensive to do this wall and they would have done it all in the shop and then they'd have to see if i could come touch it up in the field and i'd, I'd tell them no <laughs> take it down and repaint it in the shop what no this is fine though this looks pretty neat though you see the gloss all right that's it for you so guys i'll talk to you guys in this one please like share and subscribe